about, sir? Why don't you give us some information on what you might provide? I'll let the uh, team answer this question first, and then I'll yeah. answer mine. We're all the judges. Uh, uh, very proud of the friendship that... Uh, I uh, uh, believe that uh, it does uh, offer uh, fresh impetus to the peace uh, process. Uh, it gives us uh, the feeling that uh, the peace camp is determined to keep uh, going to achieve a comprehensive peace in the region. It reflects great courage and determination and commitment by both sides. Uh, I've spent many, many hours uh, going over problems, placing themselves in each other's position as well, to understand the difficulties both uh, face, and uh, therefore it's a great achievement. But anxious to work with Jordan uh, in the matter of defense cooperation to support those needs. We will be discussing that uh, issue in general today. We will also be discussing specific weapons. What you see is a gathering that couldn't have happened before. It certainly couldn't have happened prior to the Degarals. He will meet with uh, Prime Minister Rabin, he will meet with Chairman Arafat, he will meet with President... When you add it up and you look at what will happen when the agreement itself is implemented, it means that the Palestinians are going to assume responsibility for their own affairs. It means that the Israelis are no longer going to be ruling Palestinians, something that the Israelis did not want to do, something obviously the Palestinians did not want, and instead what you will have is you will have the Palestinians assuming for the first time self-government in the West Bank. That kind of personal commitment is embodied in what you're going to see over the next few days because the president will have a series of bilaterals. He will meet with